Hey guys, welcome back to Sports Cave 334. I'm Rich making my week nine picks. Let's get started. First, we got Kansas City versus San Diego. I got San Diego winning this one. Uh, they're a better team. That's the bottom line. Uh, Kansas City one and six right now. Uh, San Diego did lose their last game. Uh, pretty tight one. Not a great offensive game. I think they'll bounce back and win this game. Next, we have Bengals versus uh, Denver. Uh, Denver's gonna win this one. They're gonna improve to five and three. Peyton Manning's uh, getting on a roll, and I think that's gonna continue over to this game. All right, uh, we got Baltimore versus the Cleveland Browns. Baltimore clearly a better team. Uh, the Browns just won. I don't think they're gonna win two in a row, especially against this team. So I'm picking uh, the Ravens. Next, we have uh, Arizona versus Green Bay. Uh, I've I've Green Bay. They're looking uh, like like their usual selves again, and I think they're gonna win this game pretty easily. Uh, next, we have Chicago versus Tennessee. Chicago's going to take this one. They're one of the lead teams right now, 6-1. and one. They'll improve to 7-1. and one. Uh, We have um, Carolina versus Washington. Uh, actually, I have Washington uh, winning this game. Uh, I think uh, RG3, he's going to come back with a good game, uh, win after their loss to the Steelers. Um, so we got, we got Washington in that one. Uh, next, I got Detroit uh, beating the Jacksonville Jaguars. Detroit's a better team. That's the bottom line. Better defense, better offense. So they're going to take that one. They're going to improve to four and four. Next, we have uh, Buffalo versus Houston. Houston's going to improve to seven and one. It's an easy win. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Oakland. I have Tampa Bay winning in this one. Two, two, three, and four teams. Uh, I'm surprised both ways there. Uh, Tampa Bay is going to win this one. Uh, Minnesota versus Seattle. Uh, I pick. I pick. I pick uh, Seattle to win this game. I think Seattle has a good D. Uh, I think they're going to be able to win this game and prove to 5-4. and four. This is my upset, I guess you could call that, upset of the week. Uh, it is the 5-3 and three team going against 4-3, 4-4. Four and, three, four and four. So uh, Seattle's going to win this game. Next we have uh, Pittsburgh versus uh, the New York Giants. Hmm. I have the New York Giants winning this one. It's going to be a tight game. It's going to be a great game to watch. It's my game of the week. And... Uh, I like I like the way they're playing right now. I think uh, I think Pittsburgh is gonna is gonna isn't gonna have enough to win against the Giants, who have been on a roll lately. Next, you have Dallas versus Atlanta. I have Atlanta moving up to eight and zero. Dallas lost last week in a close one. Um, hopefully, they can bounce back, uh, create some excitement on, in that division. But uh, I just don't see it happening. I can't pick against the Atlanta Falcons. We have uh, Philadelphia versus New Orleans. At Philadelphia, uh, New Orleans' defense is so bad. Philadelphia is going to be looking to bounce back and uh, get their offense going, and they should be able to do that against this team. Uh, that's pretty much it. Those have been my picks. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And, uh, oh, I uh, actually missed a pick. I have the Dolphins versus Colts. Uh, sorry about that. I missed, I missed that one, I think. I got the Colts winning that one. And the Colts improving to five and three. They're looking pretty sharp. Uh, Andrew Luck made that beautiful play. Wide receiver Ballard he uh, made some beautiful plays down in that game to uh, to win another close game at the end. So uh, props to those guys, and uh, I think they're going to keep winning. Even though the Dolphins are a great team right now, they're kind of under. They've been underrated, but they've been playing well. But I still have Colts winning this game. Uh, those have been my picks. Uh, please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll subscribe back, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.